What is poppin' YouTube? It's your boy CR21 coming back with another video. You already know what I'm saying, but before I get into the video, happy election day everyone. Let me know in the comments who you guys are voting for or um, who did your parents vote for. I want to really know because you know you had to vote for CR21. You already know what I'm saying, CR21 2020 going viral tonight. About to become president, the YouTube president of America, CR21, so stay tuned. But yeah, man, I wanted to get this thing out of my chest real quick because I've been wanting to make this video ever since when the day the Iconic split up, but I wanted to know where would they go with this. So I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna make a video because something big could happen, so I'm gonna save it. So I just wanna get this out real quick. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics, former women's tag champs, the longest reigning women tag champs. You split them up just to have Peyton with Lacey Evans. That's a problem. But we're, let's just get straight into it, man. I'm just gonna give you guys my thoughts and feelings about this. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop this a big like if you enjoyed this video. I will gladly appreciate it. And yeah, enjoy the video, guys. So I'm thinking to myself, why would WWE split the Iconics, a true tag team, when they really don't have no but no tag teams in the women division? Like they split up three teams in the past month: Lana and Natalia. Sasha Banks and Bailey and the Iconics like three legitimate lit team you split up now that's a big problem and what what happened with it so Billy Kay just goes to main event and Peyton Royce gets like a big spotlight for two weeks you know she had that match with Oscar and then you know she was involved with a match with Billy Kay that was it after that, nothing for both. They went a main event. They started losing over there. So what was the point of splitting them up then? If you say you wanted to do it because of Peyton Royce, because you want to push Peyton Royce, I'm fine with it. I'm a big fan of Peyton Royce. Because, you know, she's she's a better wrestler out of the Iconics. Because Billy Kay, I don't know if that's her gimmick, but she's not as good as a wrestler. The only reason I like them is because they were funny. And Peyton Royce basically just carry the theme. No, no shade of Billy Kay. I don't know. She could actually be a good wrestler, but they're trying to give her with like that silly gimmick. So I guess it works. But the thing is, you put it with Lacey Evans in a random position. Like it was so random. People say Nia Jax and Shayna was random. This was even more random because at least Nia Jax and Shayna was showing some emotions. Meanwhile, Lacey Evans and Peyton Royce just came out of nowhere. Like, tag teams just co came coming up to Nia Jax and Shayna. And we just see Peyton Royce and Lacey Evans. Like, what What do you expect us to say? We'll be like, okay, let's see what they do with it. And it's just getting to a point that they're funny. They're pretty entertaining. I get the point. But was there really, like, you really had to split up the Iconics just to do that? Unless they wanted to, like, make Peyton, like, a tag champ again. But they didn't want to give Billy Kay another title because she's like bad in the ring or they're not a fan of her. Because I'm a big fan of Lacey Evans. Not right now, but like she, I used to be a big fan of Lacey Evans, but WWE just completely dropped the ball on her. So, wh why do I care, basically? But I do feel like this team could work. It could work, but it doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. I'm not just trying to hate on the team. I'm just saying it could work. But the way you booked it and the way you made it like to a team, it's not the proper way to go. Like at least have some story, some emotion to it. Not just throwing them randomly. Like you know what, it's, you get what I'm saying. You get the point that I'm going here with it. So at least hopefully WWE can come up with something. Like I need to know why they wanted to team up. What's the purpose? What's gonna be the team's name? Like are they, who are they going for? Who's their next target? Like, that's what I want. I need to know more. So, hopefully, throughout the weeks, we get to find out more about this team, this duo. I'm looking for it. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking for it. All I'm saying is, the way they did it, I just I just hate it. I just hate it. Like, I really just miss the Iconics. Billy Kay, Payne and Royce being entertaining, funny, always making me laugh. Even though if Billy Kay wasn't that good in the ring, 
she was entertaining on the mic and that's what I like to see. Uh, hopefully we got an iconic reunion because you know your boy is an iconic mark, unfortunately. But, I mean, everybody's basically a mark for something. So it is what it is. So we'll see what they do with it. Drop me, drop down in the comments. What do you guys think? Will this team succeed? Will it fail? Like, what, what, what are your thoughts about it? Do you like it? Do you not? I, I want to hear all your thoughts. Make sure to go vote. And we'll see who the president becomes. I'll probably make a video on it on my gaming channel. Like, or the R Squad. Like, me reacting to the president stuff. Like, who becomes the president. So, hey. Just watch it, man. There's nothing to watch tonight. No football, NBA, baseball, WWE. There's nothing to watch today. So, hey. Just watch the election, then. Well, watch this video first. And then you can watch the election. But, yeah. That's going to be it for the video, guys. This has probably been a quick video. Yeah, I'm out, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate that. It's been my pleasure, and I'm out. Peace out, my friends.